swap, got swat. Busting up the bells of the box. I just hit a lick with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. Yeah, yeah. Blow up the whole damn shield. I'ma get it easy. I got the mojo deals. We be tripping like the eighties. She stole my homie's soul. Got cash out. Throw them wipe on homies. No, it's last left. I won't never sell my soul like a Baghdad. And I really wanna know where you at, at. I was out back, where the stash at? Cruise the city in a bulletproof Cadillac. Cause I know my homies have to wear the bag hat. Gotta move smarter, gotta move harder. Homie try to get me for my water. I'll lay his crew down on my son and my daughter. I had the Drake go with me, Drake Carter. A lot of hitters out here playing, ain't ballin'. I done put my whole arm in the rim, Vince Carter. And I know I'll probably get a key for the quarter. Shotty barely seen the double C's, I bought him. Got a chick that's looking like a Leah, she a model. I got the pink slip on my whoops. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of What I Wear. Today, we're talking about the bread. 11s man i know i'm a little late on this video but we're here best part about this is right now is like the end of the season so it's a perfect time to get some good deals on some clothes you guys always know you can check out deals under cost today's video is sponsored by minimal you know they let me select a few pieces that i thought would go good with the bread 11 so just keep that in mind for this video is just an outline it doesn't mean that you need to buy anything this is just stuff that maybe you possibly have in your wardrobe that you can Kind of mix and match and it's something that'll look good but if you guys want to check out minimal the link will be down below you use my code sneaker life 10 get a nice little discount there now if you're like me you dress from the ground up you put the bread 11s on you like oh, what's gonna look what, good what the jeans gonna look like what's the top gonna look like since this is a higher cut typically most people go with the skinnier stacked jean that's gonna go like it's gonna stop right here perfectly tapered but this time around i wanted to go with something a little more comfortable it has been mad chilly here in colorado and that winter is not going anywhere anytime soon and what i really like about the bread 11s is they kind of go with anything having the white the red and the black i picked some more oversized monochrome tones and it ended up looking great you can even go with the essentials like a denim jacket or some fleece it really comes down to whatever you prefer now the first fit that i went with was i have the oversized white tee that nice jacket just fits really well and then the khaki pants you know that's just a, an essential that you should really have in your wardrobe if you don't you need a black pair of pants you need a khaki and you need a light wash pair of denim as i was talking about the monochrome look the second fit is an oversized gray tee and then i had some loose fitting cargo pants like i told you more comfortable more essential this is for those little more warmer days, the sun is shining. And a lot of you guys asked me about these in the black cap video. You're like, yo Mike, what's up with these pants? These ones were for minimal. They're the multi-pocket cargo pants, they fit really loose. And what I like about these is they go over the shoe. Not a skinny look, it's not a tapered look. I think it looks great and it's super comfortable. Then going into my third fit, I went with the flannel Sherpa jacket, white tee, and then some like lighter blue jeans. I like the color on these, it's not necessarily like super light wash to me i liked it it's just kind of like a uniquer wash is uniquer even a word but what i like about this fit is that it, they all kind of complement each other but subtly nothing too crazy i mean the red is kind of matchy matchy but it's not too much and this is one of those fits that you can really change out different pieces that you don't like if you want the flannel jacket with the white tee you can do black pants instead of blue you really can kind of just nitpick on what it is that you want you can even go for like some ashier black denim it can be slim jeans they can be skinny you can cuff them they can be tapered it's really whatever your preferences but to me it's a great winter fit and like i said winter is just not going anywhere anytime right now now for those warmer days you know once we hit that spring kind of leaking into the summer and i still want to wear some jeans i decided to go with the khaki pants and then just a simple black tee I hate spending way too much time on an outfit. It drives me nuts. Like, I just wanna go into my closet, be like, oh, I'm running the bread 11s today? Okay, khaki pants, black tee, I'm on my way. I don't even gotta think about it. Sometimes it just gets too sophisticated, and you know how it is. When you got too many sneakers, you just don't know what to do, so you just gotta have that one fit. And speaking of that one fit, this is like my go-to, my favorite of all the fits, the one fit that I just know is fire to me, and it looks good on me, which I think everyone should have. Like. Make sure you have that one fit. It doesn't matter if every weekend you wear the same fit. As long as you know you look good, that's all that matters. The top, I have a black suede jacket on. It's really fire. I was super impressed with the quality of this. Then I got the white tee, and I do have black pants, and they are ripped. I'm not the biggest fan of ripped jeans. Like, for me, I'd rather have maybe a little bit of distressing or just nothing at all. Just straight, slim black jeans. Like, 
I'm cool with that. Minimal does have some great choices, but you guys can also look into things like Rag and Bone. They got some really good denim. Uh, G Star, still good. Stone Island does have some cool denim, but it's pretty expensive. Personally, my favorite is between Minimal and Rag and Bone. Like those are my, my go-to. And then as you lean into the summertime, because I know I'm talking about like fall slash winter, it gets a little tougher, right? I mean, wear some shorts. You can either wear black or white Nike socks if you want to. But then as far as the top goes, you should go for more technical focused brands. It's no longer the days of like matchy matchy where you get the bread 11s and then you go to the Nike store and get the matching shirt. Like I know OGs do that. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just not really the thing anymore. And there's just so many brands out there that do a really good job as far as the technical focus is concerned. I mean, even the t-shirt I'm wearing right now, like a really nice fit, this is minimal. And it's just nice to not have like crazy logos all over that. So that's just an outline. You know, it's, it's really not too sophisticated. The nice thing about the Bread 11s is there's just so many different ways you can, just a lot of trial and error with what looks good on you and what you like, and they really match with a lot of things. But as far as like the staples, essentials, just that you know is gonna look good, the core of it is just stick with some black jeans or some light wash or khaki, like you could never go wrong with that. That's really like a solid foundation. And then obviously you can pull out your pieces, like timeless pieces like a denim jacket or really any outerwear of your choice. A flannel would even be a good one, hoodie. And then during the summer, you know, a little bit different, change it up. Maybe like some shorts, some tech wear, higher end brand tees. I personally think that's a great start. But there you guys have it. That is what I would wear with the Bread 11s. As usual, let me know down below in the comments what your favorite outfit or what your favorite thing to wear with the Bread 11s is. And as usual, we got a another giveaway. I'm gonna pick five of you guys. I have a new t-shirt and hoodie releasing. It is the bread focused. I collect Jay's tea. All you gotta do is like this video and leave a comment, but also with your comment, hashtag life is good. And you guys can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mike the Compass. Not required, but always appreciated. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Run it. Extra footage. For one time. This thing is intense. So there's six too fast. Oh. Uh, Were you looking for a video or pictures or what? No, is it on pictures? What video? I think, yeah. No, I don't know. You want it? Stand over this way though. Should I shoot 120? I think. You hungry? Yeah, I can eat. I'm trying to think of a fire spot where you can go. What if it gets 100,000 views? It's worth it. <laughs> if it doesn't? It's just like, dang, did all this work. How many views you want? Need 100K, guys. Share this with everyone, because otherwise, it was a waste of my time, to be honest. Not in a mean way, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to change so many times. And I'm just kind of fat, so stuff ain't fitting like it used to. <laughs> Can you dig it? Squat. Oh, see, somebody tried it, it's not working. There's two there, actually. Oh. L. Scammed. Please do not kick. Get Mary. Uh, stop animal. Here you go, Mary. Chloe. Or Chloe. Chew it up. I don't think I've ever won on one of these things. Seriously, I'm the goat at these. I'm going to go for this owl here. You're not going to get it. it. It's stuck in there. Is it? You're not going to get it. What's open? Oh, this little guy right here. You only got so much time though. Yeah, yeah, but it's a better option. What do you think? I got it. Wow. Isn't it got a clamp? Yeah. I don't, I don't think know. that should have been money. Should have been, but got finessed. I think these machines are nice. I think they are too. It looked like it didn't grab it. Mm -hmm. But that's like your best bet because everything else is pretty. And it went around its head like perfect. Good.
Nope. I think it's a scam. What the fuck? It's bullshit. You can usually tell though when it does that.